Yo, what's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, I'm bringing you guys another high rated DB video. We have Cloud Strife 189 with 1062 rating versus Nest with 1174 rating. By the way, I don't know who Cloud Strife is. If you guys do, let me know. But bro has 50, 50,000, 50,000 XP, bro. Like, that that's absolutely ridiculous. I think that's the most I've ever seen. And he said, What up, buddy? Good luck. Have fun. Yeah, that, that's the most I've ever seen for sure. Bro's been playing Yu-Gi-Oh for a very, very long time. So, oh, oh, a little branded mirror. So we see Cloud Strife open up Super Poly, Gold Sark, Tragedy, Servant, Fusion Deployment. Nesh opens up Branded Beast, Branded White, Branded Regain, Sorunir, and Albat. So this hand definitely better. This hand definitely better, but we'll see. He says, sup. He said, ready for an epic branded mirror. I open good, so good luck. And he said, get ready then. So he goes, fusion deployment for Cartesia. He did open up really good, uh, especially for the Brandon Mirror Super Poly. Oh, boy. Uh, so he's going to turn Blazing Cartesia and Tragedy into Grand Guignol. And then he's going to go Tragedy Effect to add Aluber or any Despia card. Doesn't have to be Aluber. Could be Quem, to be honest. And then Grand Guignol dump Garura. So going to search for Alibur. Yeah, it does search for the Alibur there. And then goes Garura draw, draws an Albaz, normal summon Alibur effect, search for fusion, activate fusion, no response there, dump Hex Seal and Fallen of Albaz. Okay. Um, so he's going to go for Albion, maybe a Dragoon play here. Um, Albion, he could go Bestial. That's why he's got the thinking face on. Could Bestial this or the Albaz. Um... I think taking away the Alba actually, actually, no, I don't know. Because he can make Mirror Jade either way if he wants to stop the Dragoon. Because this can be Albaz, right? You can, fusion, you can substitute this card for any one Fusion Material monster, but the other Fusion Material must be correct. Yeah, so let's see. Um, I won't be... Yeah, he does do the Bestial, and he targets Albaz. And then he chains Super Poly, discard Albaz. And turns Albion and Grand Guignol into Dragostepelia. And then Sorinir hits the field. It's going to banish the targeted Albaz and banish the other Albaz that he discarded and the Hexhill Fusion to go ahead and make Dragoon there. Okay, so then Grand Guignol effect because Sorinir was summoned. His special summon out. Probably Quem from deck. So Quem hits the field. And then Quem effect to dump. Dumps uh, Ecclesia the Virtuous. Okay, so plays Ecclesia the Virtuous too. Okay, okay, I'm not going to lie, I wasn't expecting that. So, let's see what happens from here on out. He's going to go into Deer Servants and to Tinaclad. And then he can get Quem Effect to Reborn. <gasps> Either of these little fusion girls. Um, he's going to search for Maximus. So, crazy board. Quem, bring back the Ecclesia. Okay, so chooses the Ecclesia over the Blazing Cartesia. Then Gold Sark, Banish Mercurier, and then search for Springin's Kit. Um, then he's going to special Spriggan's kit and search anything from anywhere. This card's nice because literally search anything from anywhere. And then he's going to put back Maximus. So he's going to go Spriggan's kit, see what he grabs. He's going to grab Banishment, plays Banishment. That's so good in this matchup, bro. So good in the mirror. Uh, so put back Maximus, set one pass, and then add back Blazing Cartesia. Okay, that actually makes sense why he didn't bring this back because now he has a discard for the Dragoon Negate. But you don't have a discard for the Ecclesia if they summon Albaz. But I feel like there's a way to get to another card. There has to be. I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, oh, Tatanaclad. Duh! Duh, Tatanaclad is going to go ahead and search Albaz. Okay, so he has double discards. And then also set Banishment or set uh, Retribution with the um, Albion. So this is good because he has two fusions that mention Albaz and Grave, and he can negate his branded fusion. I think this is this is I think it's done. And then he draws Retribution. That's such a bad draw. Really unfortunate draws for Nash, bro. Like you don't want to draw really any of these cards. Like I mean, Brandon White is fine. Um, branded Beast though, branded Retribution, branded Regain. Cards you don't want to draw. Albaz to a certain extent. It's fine in some matchups, but. If Nesh, if Nesh ends up breaking this, I'll be very impressed. I'm not going to lie. So he's going to just activate Branded Regain to start off. And then he's going to go Normal Summon, Albaz, Discard the Retribution, Dragos Apelia, Negate. And then... What? What? 
Yo, what the f Link into Striker Dragon? Okay. That is so crazy, bro. Okay, Link into Striker Dragon, and then link those two into Seals, and then Bestial Effects, send the... Let's see what he sends. I have no idea. Branded and... So he sends Branded and Red there. So he can add back Branded and Red, activate Branded and Red. He can make Chimera, or not Chimera, uh, Mirror Jade. But let's see what he ends up doing. So he's going to Branded Retribution, add back Red. I feel like he just has too many negates, bro. Like he still has this. Like this can negate that. This could also negate that. And then you just don't have any plays, but you do have Seal. So he's going to Retribution that. And then he's going to Retribution, Banish to add back Branded Fusion. Okay. Fair. Um, wait, no, he's not going to do that. He said return fusions. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Return fusions. I was like, oh. I was confused there for a second. And then he goes branded and white here. So he can make... He can still make mirror jade. Yeah, he just banishes, makes mirror jade. That's true. But he could also just negate this. Like, I would definitely negate this. And then you just don't really have a play. I mean, I guess you have, like, seal for next turn into Branded Beast for, like, that's plays. I, mean, I don't know how good it's going to be, but we'll see. He's going to Dragoon Negate the Branded and White. And then he's just going to set one end phase. Um, you could do this. Special Summon out Albaz. Oh, no, you cannot, unless this can summon from hand. Um, you can tribute one, special summon one from your hand or deck. I mean, you could, but you don't have the discard. You could, is this only during the main phase? Yeah, during the main phase. So, yeah, you can't wait for the discard. So, that's actually tough. You actually can't do that. Um, You can't banishment either. You don't, your whole board's kind of clogged. So, he just passes and draws Ash. Okay, 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 okay. So, he's going to banish Tragedy to set Branded Fusion. And then he's going to Drago Stapelia, Target Seals, Chain... Or no, first he's going to Branded Beast on the Tragedy to put it back to the bottom. So, Nesh could draw a card. Draws Black Dragon. Switches everything to attack. Says okay to the Drago Stapelia. Negate the Seal. Because he could just negate with that. Or he's going to wait to do it in Battle Phase. Play around Talons or something. He's going to attack with Ecclesia. He's going to use the effect, Tribute, and then effect is negated, right? Yeah, the effect is negated, but he's going to be able to summon out the Bestial. Um, uh, wait, what? Why is it negated? Why is the effect not negated? He Drago Sepelia and he didn't respond. I don't know. That one confused me. You guys let me know down in the comments. That one just confused me a little bit. Not going to lie. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and continue. Attack, attack, attack. And then Nesh just admits defeat. So so going on to the next game, Cloud Strife opens up right Geki, Duality, Albaz, Evenly Matched, and Branded Opening. So a decent amount of going second cards. And so Nesh opens up Branded Fusion, Quem, Lubelion, Branded Fusion, Albaz. So he has a good hand for sure. And Branded Fusion's going through. So looking kind of tough. So he's going to go normal summon Quem, Quem effect, maybe dumps uh blazing cartesia here but he is playing a different kind of build so it could just be something else uh he dumps tribrigade mercurier so he's gonna go okay yeah he's gonna go bestial lubelion search for sarah near okay this does make sense because you can get the search off of the mercurier so he's gonna summon out sword near by banishing mercurier mercurier effect to add blazing cartesia there and then he's going to turn those into bestial dissipator. So he's not using Brand Infusion. He's just making these, like not using these two cards. I also have been messing around with a branded synchro list and it is fun as hell, but I'm not playing Brand Infusion. I don't know. Well, let's see, bro. Let's see. Let's see. Um, so he goes for the bestial synchro here and then he's going to go Soranir effect to dump. He's going to dump the bestial Aluber. He's playing the bestial Aluber too. Oh my God. This is full of spice. So this card's name becomes Fallen of Albal as well on the field or in the graveyard. So he can summon out Cartesia now. And they said if this card is normal or special, you can discard one card, then target one dragon monster. Your opponent controls or in their graveyard and activate the appropriate effect. Send this card to the grave. And if you do take control of that monster to the end phase, uh, send this card to the grave. And if you do special summon that monster to your field. Okay. I don't know. I feel like this card's not that good, bro. 
There might be something crazy that you do with it, though. I'm not sure. You guys let me know, bro. I don't know. I don't know it, though. No way in hell. Oh, he has to keep going on. So I can't. So he's going to go Blazing Cartesia, Summon, Effect to Fuse. Wait. Oh, yeah. He can do that. He definitely can do that. He said, thinking big things, super poly for game. It's OP. Don't dream about it. Um, even playing your Boral Load tech card, too good. Yeah, the Boral Load card's nice. Um, so he's going to Fuse. He's, so he went Fusion into Albion, and then Albion, Banish, those two. Let's see what he makes here. He's going to go for Sanctifier, and then Bestial, bring back the... Ah, I can't keep up with this, bro. I actually just can't keep up with it. We got to go to the log, bro. So he banished Quem, and he special summoned Sanctifier, and then he went Dispatter, special summoned back the Guiding Quem, and then he special summoned the Bestial Lubelion by sending this to the graveyard, okay? Um, then declared the effect of Bestial Rebellion, placed Branded Regained face up. Yes. And then sent the Bestial to Grave for, and those two for a seal. And then Quem effect to bring back Blazing Cartesia. Okay. And then he's going to go End Phase, Dispatter, or no, End Phase, Albion to set. Huh. He said cute combos, my friend. Yeah, these are cute combos, bro. I'm not going to lie. These are cute combos. The only thing I like, I think the branded synchro deck could be nice. Like, I actually think it's nice, but two dead branded fusion is tough. I mean, it's really good follow up still, but so he's going to set branded beast with that. So still a pretty decent board. He also could have made Grand Guignol, but maybe he just wants to keep these two on field for a specific reason. Um, so I draw a poly there. It goes battle phase, uh, sanctifier effect. Sanctifier is really, really nice. Just turns off evenly. Lightning storm. So summons back Albion, gives him Seronir. And then he goes opening effect, discard evenly in ba battle phase. Summon out Alubur, Alubur effect. And he's going to grab Brand Infusion. And Nesh does not have what's it called in there. So Raigeki could go crazy. Main phase two just goes Branded Fusion. So Branded Fusion is going to dump Albaz and Hex Seal. Go for Albion. Albion effect is chain link one. And Ness starts to think here. Says that's fine. Banishes Hex Seal and Albaz for Dragoon. So Dragoon hits the board. Then he goes Seal effect. Tribute itself. Any response? And Cloud Strife says thinking. And he gives out the thumbs up. He says you're good. So bounces to Dragoon. And then Seal effect to special. Seal is going to bring out Albaz, Albaz effect, discard Brand Infusion, make Mirror Jade. Or he's going to, oh, wait. Okay, yeah, you would have to chain this in response to the Albaz effect. Tribute one letter, Dark Monster, special one letter monster from your hand or extra deck with the same original type and level, but a different attribute. Um, okay, that's fine, but he's just going to be able to fuse with whatever he brings out, unless whatever he brings out is unable to be used as fusion material. So, he's going to bring out Sanctifier, which can't be used as fusion material, so he's going to have to make something else. Okay, makes sense. Um, duality kind of nice. He's going to use the Saronir to make Lubelion, and then Lubelion effect, discard, Saronir chain link 2 is going to go ahead and dump gonna dump retribution there and then put back albaz put back the lubelion for mirror jade and they said anything on res not nah, raigeki he says thinking he goes mirror jade effect sends titanic clad and then cloud strife just said missed defeat i feel like you should have start he said played around super poly ruler evenly what's up uh he said you played well best of luck nesh did play well i feel like you could have I don't know. I'm gonna say bro, like I like these players are definitely better than me. I feel like I would have slammed Raigeki first, like after like main phase two, I probably slammed Raigeki because he still has seal, he has Quem and everything. Like he didn't have opening in graveyard. So I feel like the Raigeki would have went in, no? I don't know. I could be tripping. Um so Cloud Strife gonna choose to go first here, opens up Ash Blossom, opening Nadir Servant, Summon Limit, Polly. <sighs> I mean, this hand plays for sure, and Floodgate plus Ash, so it's tough. But Nesh opens up Branded and White, Blazing Cartesia, Branded Beast, Chaos Space, and Dark Ruler No More. 
So I was gonna go branded opening, discard the poly, summon out Alubur, Alubur effect, grab fusion, activate fusion, dump Albaz, dump hex seal again. See that's his main line. So Albion effect is gonna banish Albaz and the hex seal for Dragoon. He said, uh, you wouldn't dare super poly me, would you, my friend? <laughs> I don't I haven't seen super poly not once from Nesh, I think. Uh at least it's in this. Um and then Nadir Servant, he said I wouldn't bet on it. He's gonna Nadir Servant send Albion to add Quem. Okay, and then normal summon Quem. Quem effect is gonna go ahead and dump. It's gonna dump Incredible Ecclesia, the Virtuos. And then end phase, add back in Ecclesia, Albion to set. He's not even gonna set, he's just gonna add retribution to hand. Misclick, not retribution, he's gonna set red. Um okay. Okay, okay, okay. Can't use it at the moment. Um but you can go like Dragoon discard doesn't do it. I don't know. He has Ash though. Ash Dragoon. Dark Ruler. Uh Dark Ruler goes through. That's tough. Still has Ash Blossom. Brandon Red is not live at the moment. At the moment, it's not live. So he goes Chaos Space, discard Albion, search for Lubelion. Ooh, Nash cooking for real, bro. Uh, so Lubelion, effect, search for Soranir. And then big thing, he's going to go Soranir effect, banish the Albion out of graveyard, and then summon it. Okay, let's see. So he's going to go Blazing Cartesia effect to summon because Albion in grave is treated as Albaz. On summon, summon limit. Rematch? Uh, he said on the hand effect. But did he summon already? I mean, no, it's okay. He said a rematch. That's so crazy. He says thinking. I mean, it's not so crazy. It's like <sighs> floodgate. Like, what are you going to do? Um, so he's going to go Albion effect. Send Albaz, put back to the bottom, pass turn, draw edge chain. I didn't even notice he's playing a lot of cards. Um, so normal summon chain, Nesh says thinking, goes blazing Cartesia, chain Dragoon to negate, destroy. And he says think here, and he just wins the duel. Uh, Nesh offered a rematch. Oh my god, should we watch the rematch? We have to. We have to. Now listen, bro. This is going to happen, bro. Okay? You guys see the second match going on right here. I don't know how many games they played. But if you guys want the game two, if you guys want the game two, 30 likes on the video, I'll get you the game two later today. But that's going to do it for this video. Uh, these two decks, both of these players are cooking up something crazy. Do you see the duality in here? Um, Nesh playing like... Bro, when he linked into Striker Dragon, I'm like, bro, what? I was not expecting that in the slightest. But anyway, really, really interesting. Uh, I've been messing around with the branded synchro strategy myself. If you guys want to see that, also comment below. But yeah, like I said, if you want to see the game too, 30 likes, let's run it up. Oh yeah, also go subscribe to Nesh. Uh, link down below in the description. I'm out. Peace.